This is my precision vise. Now the idea with this vice wasn't to create just like a drop-in replacement. Yeah, it was more or less to show how a vice like this could work, and it ended up turning out really great. It ended up being a lot stronger than I thought it would be. So this was the original vice design that I did that inspired me to complete this new one. And as you can see, there's a lot of room for improvement with this design. Yeah, and this vice is way better in almost every way. It starts out with the body. This one we've tapped. You don't have to tap them. This one isn't tapped. So this one is tapped with grass nuts. And this one isn't. Here we have the main jaw and then we just fasten it. We need real fasteners. We're not using super long ones here. The longest one used in this assembly is an M4 40 millimeter, and that's for the main clamping jaw here. So there's one that goes right through and through. That's the longest one there. And then we have a base here. We're not going to attach this base yet because we have to do two things we have to add a heat insert that this is what's going to make it reliable the 3d print all on its own is not reliable enough That's one jaw attached, and then for attaching this other one, it's the same thing. Now we have our jaws. And then now we're going to just put our clamp together here. This is very simple. Slide this out closer to the end. We're going to put our piece in there. And then just keep it oriented. We're going to put the bottom on. We're just going to put the screws, these coarse threaded screws. So that's it. That's the precision vise. 
You'll have to head over to Colts 3D or Dropbox to download your copy of the free STL file. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I'd really like to hear how your prints turn out. And uh, be sure to leave a like.